Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be find the square root of a number using Newton's method in C++. As usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. The square root of a number n can be approximated by a repeated calculation using the following formula. New guess equals 0 0.5 times last guess plus n, that's the number, divided by last guess. Where new guess is the next guess, and last guess the last guess. The calculation of a new guess should be terminated when the absolute value of the difference between the new guess and the last guess is about 1 in 10 million. 1 in 10 million. <laughs> Write a computer solution for the R formula. You may use the function ABA, that is the absolute value of x, to obtain the absolute value of x <laughs> to the algorithm. So we have to take the number the user wants to find the square root of. So you see input n. And then we have to take the last guess. From the user so that we can compute for the new guess all right now that we have n and then m we are n and the last guess we are going to store a copy of the user's last guess in new guess so we say new guess equals last guess as you go along you understand why this is now we set a do how loop and say last guess equals the new guess give the value that gives the new guess give it back to the last guess then we write the formula, which is new guess equals 0 0.5 times last guess plus n divided by last guess. So we are going to put the value of last guess inside this formula and compute for new guess. Then we see how the floating absolute difference between the new guess and the last guess is approaching 1 in 10 million. What this means is that in this while loop, the value for last guess and new guess is going to keep changing. But what we want is that we want the value for last guess to begin from the original value the user entered. That is why we saved the copy of the last guess inside this new guess, then came to this do-hal loop and gave the value that the new guess is holding, which is the last guess, back to the last guess. Then in the do-hal loop, we put the last guess inside this formula, compute for a new guess, then give the value of the new guess back to the last guess, in, then put the last guess inside the formula, Compute for a new guess, give it back to the last guess, put the last guess in the formula, compute for a new guess, and then give the new guess back to the last guess, compute, put it inside the formula, and then compute for a new guess. So we keep doing this, and as we are doing this, we will be checking if the difference between the new guess and the last guess is approaching 10 in a million. When this becomes so, this do while loop stops or it ends, and then we print that the square root of n is new guess. Alright friends, now let's convert this to code in C++. So because I'll be using the power library, the power function, I included the CMAT library. Then in the intermediate function, I, decla I declared new guess, last guess, and n, the number we are finding, to be a double. Then I take the input, that is the, the number and the guess from the user as inputs. Then I equate last guess to new guess. Then inside the, the dual loop, I equate the new guess back to the last guess and then put it inside the formula and then be checking if the difference between them is approaching 10 in a million, 1 in a mil 1 in 10 million. Then I print my output and then I end my code, the system pause and then return 0. Now let's input some guesses and see what happens. So I entered 200, I want to find the, the square root of 200. Then my guess is let's say 10. Then you see that the square root of 200 is 14.1421. You realize that even though my guess was wrong, the Newton's method was still able to compute for the, the, the square root of 200. Alright friends, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, apart ya!